All right, y'all. So today I'm making some. What am I cooking? Some Cajun pasta. Even though I've been working out and watching what I'm eating, I'm not supposed to be eating no pasta, but I haven't ate it in a long time. I don't think I can have me a cheat day today, you know. I think I can it can be an exception for today. You know. So that's what I'm doing at this moment. And I already got my pasta noodles over there. Let me check on them. Yeah, I'm just gonna let that cook. I'm not gonna do a whole a lot of talking really in this video because I want you guys just to see like what I'm doing. Well, I may talk a little bit. Let me stop I may talk a little bit, but I ain't just talk a, a whole lot. But anyway, so as y'all can see, um, as I can see, I'm cooking the chicken in here. You always want to start with your meat first. That's the first thing that you want to do. Let me turn down a little bit. You always want to start with your meat. And the pasta noodles because I'll be ready for everything to be done. So it's been boiling for a little bit. I'm actually about to go ahead and let me check it and make sure it's ready. Mm, no, it's not ready to boil a little bit longer. like five more minutes I'm about to take this out the noodles are almost ready and I still got some more chicken over here I'm gonna cook and then I got my garlic cut up got my bell peppers and my onions um got my shrimp here and I'm gonna add some sausage um just so you guys can see like the seasons that I'm using oh here, here this is what I'm using here I love garlic, y'all. So y'all might see a whole lot of garlic. I'm gonna be like, girl, she uses garlic and everything. You damn skip it. Okay, look. Here. And then I also use this kind of garlic, minced garlic. This season is sprinkle of that, paprika, parsley, pepper. And this, I actually got two of these that I use. And I actually also got some fresh mushrooms that I'm probably gonna put in there as well. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Take this out of the chicken. And then finish the chicken. I'm going to show you guys that in just one second. Alright, so I got the rest of the um, chicken cooking. And then I'm going to just take a bit of this. Right on in the middle, y'all. I love garlic. Okay, that's just what it is. I got a little bit of oil in the skillet as well. All right, let me go ahead and check on my noodles over here. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Y'all, so I'm gonna go over here and finish washing this pot and stuff out. Well, I just washed it out. Um, so you gotta clean as you go, y'all. Smash the pot, I do. Wipe down. There I go. Okay. Alright, so then, after that chicken is ready, I'm gonna do my shrimp last. Um... I'm gonna do this. I think that's enough shrimp, girl. I don't know. I'm gonna have to have it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Put a little more. Because if you love shrimp like I love shrimp, you might throw, you know, you might throw, you know, you just throw a few more, a few more in there. Let me see. A few more. It won't hurt. You know, put a little shrimp. Let me see. Let me see. 
And yes, I already rinsed it off. For me, I rinsed off everything a thousand times. I don't know. I'm going to off a thousand times. Let me get these shells out of here. And then I'll be back to show y'all my next step. Alright, y'all. So, the next thing I'm going to do is, um, even though the Alfredo that I'm using, this is the that I'm using, the mushroom. I love mushrooms too. And I still got some right here. Now my kids, they don't like, they don't really like it, but mommy do. I love like vegetables. I ain't even gonna lie. Well, certain vegetables too. Certain ones too. Now I'm gonna drop some in there. Hmm. I'll probably cut them up and do a little bit more. Rinse them off as well. I rinse off everything. Everything is on top of the low fire to get into a 30 feet. Alright. I'm just going to cut this to the side over there. Go here. Now I'll cut up my meat. Um, just so that you can cook through. And make sure everything's done. Last you need is some thick meat or meat that's raw and not cooked. We don't get sick. So we don't got time to be getting sick, baby. Okay, we don't got time for that. Everything got to be done. Chicken got to be um, done but tender. Okay. Oh, yes. Ain't that how y'all do that? Okay, there you go. All right. So I'm almost done with it. Okay, I'm almost done with it. And then once we done, I should probably put my sausage in there, but I'm going to cook that separate too. For y'all, I'm just cooking everything, you know, separate. And look like I just know what I'm doing, even though I know what I'm doing. But you know what I mean. <sighs> Child. Okay. So this about to come out. Then after that, I'm going to do my sausage, the shrimp. I'm going to probably do the sausage and the shrimp together. I'm going to do all the vegetables together. So onions and bell peppers here. Mushroom here. Cooking it all together. Y'all stay tuned. This shit going to be delicious. Y'all Now, if y'all want to see the type of sausage that I use, this type of, um, I normally use Chapel Hill, but since we're not in Houston no more, they don't sell Chapel Hill out here where we are, so we try so many different sausages out here, child. I'm so picky. I like seasoned sausage, so this is as close as we can get, because all those other ones was killing us. I'm sorry. It was, it was horrible. But, um, okay. So, we're going to cook this here. Probably throw the shrimp in here when they're pretty much done because you know you just really gotta cook the sausage long. So these this one got a little bit of seasoning in the sausage. I just don't like that type of sausage that looks like hot dogs or wieners. Like I, I don't I don't really like that, even though it kinda look like that a little bit, but they got a little bit of seasoning with the sausage. Like I don't really like that wiener look. But this is close as we can get, y'all. I don't really do the andouille, andouille sauce, whatever it is that people use. Nah, I'm picky. But if y'all know what Chapel Hill is, y'all should look it up. It's called Chapel Hill Sausage. They sell it in Houston. That's the ACB, honey. I miss it so much. So damn much. Okay, so. Let's see. We're going to let this cook. I'm doing a little bit of that. This is already about to be a lot of meat. It's chicken, shrimp, and meat. Okay. Alright, and so there is the shrimp. Um, I like to use kind of like the large, extra large shrimp. I don't like the little bitty, teeny tiny shrimp that be in the bag. So I go to the little fresh part, even though we all know the shrimp that be in the bag is what they sell in front, like in the meat area where they have it all fresh at HEB. If any of you have HEB, y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, and they give it to you fresh, but it's really the same stuff. They just called it out. So, anyway, I like big shrimp, okay? I like things big, okay? I don't like little stuff. I do not like no little ass shrimp that is just nasty to me. I don't like it. It tastes funny. don't like it. So, you're not going to ever see me using no little bitty ass baby shrimp. It's just not going to work. All right. So, we're going to let this all cook together. I should have done my vegetables. Normally, I would do that first. But, hey, it is what it is. 
I got that over here. Once I'm done with that, um, I'm going to put everything all together. My pasta noodles is already ready. And then I'm going to warm up the sauce a little bit in the skillet as well or in the pot. All right, stay tuned for that. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, it's pink. So you don't want to overcook your own. Um, Put the camera down, y'all. Yeah, the camera got to go down. I can't be dropping my bed peppers for the child. Hold on. All right, and I did put a little oil in the pan. I'm gonna do this. I'm just sprinkle a little seasoning on top of my onions, my bell peppers, and my mushroom and my garlic. That's just what I do. You don't have to do it. All right, so I'm gonna pour this. I guess I'm going to do this here because it's all going to be mixed in together. Alright. I'm going to open up my pasta here. I mean, my water dough. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm going to help you. Yes, Mommy. Turn it down a little bit. What's your name? Sorry, y'all. My kids. Oh, what is it? Kiki Palmer. Oh, okay. No. No, I canceled it.
all right guys so this is the final look um if you enjoyed this video definitely give me a like um you can also comment below subscribe to my channel um if you would like to see anything else any other cooking videos just keep um oh uh oh just keep watching turn on your post notifications so that you know whenever i upload a video um other than that y'all i am about to eat thank you so much for watching